y'all. Welcome back to Adventuring with Amanda. Thank you so much for being here. If you are new to my channel, welcome. In this video, I kind of have a hodgepodge of stuff going on. I have some footage from my mom's trailer that we started renovating in September. There have been some updates since you guys saw it last in the fall. And I tell you about a story, something kind of fun that happened uh, last night, an encounter that I had with my mom when we were out to eat. And I am showing you my awesome new campsite that I found. It's super private. It's in the pine trees, good cell service, and I can't wait to share it with you guys. So like this video and let's get into it. The progress. The progress, yes. I didn't even finish my sentence. Yes, the progress. What do you think, kid? You have to be back at Gamma's? Check out these sweet chairs my mom got today at an estate sale. I think she said she paid 15 bucks for the pair. <laughs> and then she got this camp chair for $2. <laughs> she got all sorts of cool stuff at an estate sale today. Look at these floors, y'all. So if you are not familiar with what this place looked like before mom and I started remodeling in September... Yeah, go back and look at the videos. I will link them in the description. We were even featured in the U.S. Sun. <laughs> so anyways, um, it's still, it's still, there's still stuff to do, right? But the floors got put in and um, mom just actually kind of dropped these planks over here. Again, there's still work to be done, as you can see, but it's, these floors are looking tremendous. And I think I showed you all the carpet in a video in December. So the carpet was done then. And if you remember when we started all of this, we had to, yeah, just go back and watch the videos. It's absolutely wild. Um, and then here, where's the light for the bathroom? So brand new toilet. Um, the toilet was gnarly, sink, cute decor from the dollar store <laughs> and then the main kitchen sink and cabinets and whatnot got put in so check out how cute oh there's the cutest my mother hey mother Hello. <laughs> mom's putting in blinds i think that's what you're doing right now right putting in blinds two. yeah so the arizona room is still kind of the staging area for everything um, but so yeah, mom's putting in blinds. Wow, you're a good supervisor. Looks like you're falling asleep on the job. You can, oh, oh, you know what? I have to really. Can you give me the the drill? We'll try. What are you bark? Are you telling everybody who's boss or what? Y'all, look, mom's, mom's still using the bodega fridge because even though we've had the big fridge, yeah, just haven't plugged it in yet. So the bodega still running like a charm. Just walking out of a restaurant. There's some peacocks. <laughs> a male and a female peacock. Honestly, those people right there might own them. Well, I'm sure they do. Isn't they? Just chilling. Yeah, because they're well kept. So yeah. They have, they have that big yard. Yeah, they probably live right there. What a nice place to live. They're just looking for snacks. <laughs> Y'all, I just found an awesome campsite. I came down this little road that I saw from one of the bigger campsite areas. And I'm so glad that I did because it's literally just like a private campsite back here. Just a little circle turnaround, so very, very happy with it. The cell service is amazing. Just came right down that little road from the main area and took me back here. So plenty of 
shade and sunshine for solar, which is awesome. And all I hear is the wind in the trees. It's amazing. Hey kid, you wanna come on up? So I'm setting up camp right now, but I wanted to take a quick pause, if you will. Oh, my hair's wild. Um, to tell you about this like super weird encounter, not weird, just wild, kind of bizarre <laughs> encounter that my mom and I had at the bar last night. And um, so it starts by my mom and I deciding to go out to dinner and try something new. So typically in Payson, we really like the Buffalo. The Buffalo Bar and Grill is our go-to. Good food, drinks, just the vibe in there is amazing. We love watching sports, so there's TVs everywhere, and that's just like our go-to. But we decided, you know what? We have been driving past Diamond Point Steakhouse for over a decade, and we've never eaten there. They're only open certain days, and they're only open, I think they open at like 4 o'clock, you know, it's a steakhouse. So, um, we didn't really know what to expect, but we decided to go. So, we arrived yesterday at like, it was early, it was like 5, and very cool place, like super dark. We, we decided to sit at the bar, huge bar, just like everything, like every liquor and stuff that you could imagine. Like it was really, really cool. So um, we didn't really, I didn't know where my mom was taking me. And then when we like got there, I was like, oh mom, this is a steakhouse. I am not dressed for the occasion, but okay. It's Payson. So people don't get all fancy and it's whatever. But we decided to sit at the bar. Um, I had a steak salad and a Stella beer. And so mom and I were kind of like, hanging out, sipping our beer, eat, eating our veggie appetizer. And these two gentlemen sit down right next to me. One looked to be like my mom's age, and then the gentleman next to him was his dad. And they were regulars. They seemed to uh, know everybody. Sorry, my nose is kind of itchy all of a sudden. Excuse me. Um... And I don't know how we started just chatting, but we started chatting and just kind of bullshitting, you know. And it turns out he has a place up here and in Phoenix, just like my mom has a place up here um, and in Chandler. Long story short, this guy, was he was so personable, so personable. He worked at my high school for 20 years during the time that my sister went there, I went there, and my brother went there, and we all graduated. He was the announcer for our football games. And so my mind was being blown because I'm like, what is happening? This is a small world. Turns out his wife worked in the front office during the entire time that the three of us went to school there. I'm like, I graduated high school in 06. So I'm just like, my mind is being blown. So in the meantime, though, I was telling him, like, I'm, you know, my mom's remodeling a home. We're from Ahwatukee, which is where he has a home. Um, I live in a van most of the time. And he just thought that me living in a van was like the coolest freaking thing. And I gathered from this person that he is very successful. And he was like, he just kept telling me, he was like, oh my gosh, he was like, you have such a good spirit and you have, you're, you know, you're so full of energy. And, um, you know, cause I told him, I was like, you know, I'm 35 and I'm just kind of doing this. I don't really have commitments or debt or responsibility. And he was just so shocked by my good life decisions. <laughs> and he kept telling me that it was so amazing and he was jealous and, He's so happy I, like, found this life young, and he just, he kept telling me, he's like, oh, Amanda, like, you're, you are just a good person, and just your spirit and your soul, it's just thriving, and again, he was a super outgoing man, and he was telling me all this, and then it, like, to bring it back to, like, my high school, and to know that, like, I probably saw his wife 
over the course of four years at some point and like and he was announcing these football games when like I was there but I was just like hanging out with my friends so I don't even you know I was a teenager I was not paying attention to what was going on um but it it just like I don't know everything just hit me and it felt so surreal because I feel like my worlds had collided like my childhood with my life in Payson that I've had for 10 years since my mom and my stepdad bought a place up here and my van life. It's like it all came together to merge. And he ended up paying for our meal and our drinks. And like, it was, it was incredible. He was such a kind, generous man. And to hear those words from somebody like my mom's age, like my stepdad's dead and my father has chosen to be absent from my life. So to hear all of that from somebody that literally I, I crossed paths with in high school that could be like a father figure like that was powerful shit like that I felt like the universe sent him to meet me at the bar at a time when I needed to hear the things that he told me and like I said he ended up paying for our meal like it was just it was an incredible experience I uh, well, I'm still kind of shocked about how it all happened, but, um, it was really, really, really freaking cool. And I'm, I guess there's a reason that my mom and I went to the steakhouse at the time that we did because we ended up meeting him and then we ended up exchanging numbers, um, because he has, like I said, he has a place up here and down there and he wanted to like follow me on YouTube and stuff. So, um, very freaking cool, but it was awesome, and I just wanted to share that little story with you because it was powerful, and you never know who's going to be sent to you at the time when maybe you need to hear something or um, just need a little reminder. It was a really special moment. This campsite is awesome. Oh, sorry, Bob. I'll take down the windscreen. <laughs> I just made lunch, and I'm kind of getting set up. I decided to do something different. I'm, like I said earlier, I'm happy about all the shade we have, but also open sky for my solar. I wanted the shade of this tree over here next to my van, so I put my rug out over here with my water table. This area should have shade for a lot of the day. Found a nice place to hang my trash, although I did take my trash bin out. I will spray that with, spray that with Grandpa Gus to keep the critters away. And, oh, I still need to do the same in my engine bay. I'm seeing a lot of prints from elk and deer, it looks like, as well as some scat. I mean, we're pretty up here, but the best part is <laughs> we're only 10 minutes away from my mom's place, which is really awesome. It seems like we're super secluded, especially because there's no one here. But literally on the other side of this mountain, like three miles that way, is my mom's house. It's a pretty cool situation. So since this video got long with my story, I will wrap it up here. But stay tuned for content within the next like week or so. I'd like to stay here at least five days. But you know me. Sometimes I get bored and we'll play it by ear. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Remember to like and subscribe. <laughs> we'll see you next time.